Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. Uh, this week's edition of This Morning on ITV, Sunday's edition, the first for the week, with me here in the studio to talk about uh, the menace of collapsed building and, of course, the way forward. He is, uh, or he was one time the SA to former Ogo State Governor, Ibekunle Yamosu, and of course, he was one time also the chairman, Nigeria Society of Engineer, Edo State Chapter. He is a civil engineer, and of course, anything about construction, building, he is a man to really go to. Join me to welcome Kayode Adeniji. Welcome to TMI Sunday's edition. I appreciate your coming. Many persons were taken aback when that building collapsed in Lagos and questions were being raised that this isn't the first time such is happening, but that was the first time building of such magnitude collapsed in Lagos. We have chemistry also of reports about building just going under either during construction or after construction. You go here tenants occupying the said building and it all goes down. What do you think is the cause of this? Good morning, viewers. Nice being here once again. Um, you see, we cannot really say what is the really real cause for the collapse of Lagos building. Rather, I'll go broadly into um, highlighting some of the reasons why we have building collapse. All right. Now, first of all, we start with the design. If the design is faulty, is going to collapse. Then we talk of faulty or bad construction, modes, method, and processes. That's another cause. Another third main reason why we have building collapse is um, um, soil liquefaction. By soil liquefaction, we mean if you have extra load that was not designed for on the structure. The effect of the, uh, uh, of the load will sort of make the soil to behave like a liquid. If the soil is behaving like a liquid, that means uh, it's a panache for failure. Again, I talk of um, um, natural causes, like vibration, like um, explosives, like an earthquake. That obviously could not be reason for Lagos collapse. Yeah. Then the master of them all, I call it mother of all reasons. Before incompetence, we have incompetence yeah. on the part of the implementation implementations. Yeah. We have um, um, quackery, which I'm going to discuss uh, yeah. into, uh, uh, later, much later on in details. I said the mother of all reasons why it happens mm -hmm. in Nigeria and everywhere else is corruption. 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 Mm -hmm. That's the mother of all reasons. All why right. we have that. All right. Now, well, from all factors you've given, they're all linked to corruption. If you take a look at the way buildings do collapse in Nigeria, though you say you don't have the full details of what happened in Lagos. You mentioned quackery, you mentioned the soil, even like fluid just goes here and there, yeah. not able to, you know, take the load of the said building. Let's zoom in into quackery. Because you get to hear amazing after like you know experiencing the aspect of building for maybe let's say five ten years he says he's a builder he is an architect he is uh, uh, so many other things that are related to being get to say put trooping towards this quack right now in quotes to construct the buildings i believe we have uh, a body in nigeria to really check make these kind of quacks infiltrate engineering uh how, how will i put it now body what have you done so far to foster that from happening yeah, uh, um, when the head of the fish is rotten the whole body will really be affected it's a whole system engineering and construction is not immune from the nigeria society yeah you see, I will start by defining a quack. A quack is somebody who does the job for which he's not trained or which is not competent. Even if you're an electrical, you're an electrical engineer doing the work of a civil engineer, you are a quack. If you are a, uh, if you are a plumber doing the work of a, build, of a builder, you are a, clack, uh, a quack. quack. If you are a draftsman and you claim to be an architect, doing the work of an architect, you are a quack. If you are a mason or bricklayer, and you say, and they call you an engineer, and you answer engineer, you are a quack. Mm -hmm. Those are the type of things that um, all um, relate to why we have them. I'll give you another example, for instance. But I'll tell you they, that they have experience. They've been in the building profession for years. 
yes, that does not make them um, competent. Mm. You can look if you are, if you are a doctor, you have, MB, uh, you, have, you have MBBS, just a medical doctor, general practitioner. Is yeah. is experience? Even if you have fifty years experience, you cannot enter the theater to say you want to do surgery. You are not a surgeon. Mm. You are not to do surgery. You know how it's done. You be there, but you are not licensed to do to do surgery. I give you an example. So, but in that case, the doctor is not a, is not is a doctor, but he's a quack because he's doing the work for which he's not trained. Mm. The same thing with an engineer. I mean, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, a draftsman. A draftsman. That I've been working for the past 20 years, mm. and he says he wants to do the work of an architect. He's not an architect. Mm. A civil engineer, who's a general, generally trained to be an, uh, as a civil engineer, will not be the one that will do the soil investigation. He's a geotechnic engineer, or a soil engineer, mm. or foundation engineer. Yeah. The structural engineer is the one who does the design of all the elements. Mm. While the elements are made the beam, this, the slab, the, the columns, those are the elements, like the skeleton. Yeah. The architect gives the drawing, the concept. He's the number one to, to, to be contacted. Yeah. Then the structural engineer gives the skeleton. The body cannot stand without the skeleton. The skeleton. Mm -hmm. And the skeleton alone, if you put the skeleton here now, it's not a human being. You can't recognize it. Mm -hmm. So the flesh has to be there. That is, it. that is the way it works. The structural engineer is the one who, who does the skeleton work, the, 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 the bone. The bones, the structure, yeah. the architect and the other related uh, um, professionals, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and the um, other ones, are the ones who give the body and the life. Right. So if any of, any of them is missing, right, something's wrong. If the architect says he can give a skeleton, he's not licensed to do the skeleton. He's a structural engineer. Mm. Now, I'll get you, I want to get you into where the authorities come in. Yeah. When the architect does the drawing and the structural engineer does his calculations yeah. and his um, uh, design. They send it to the stamp planning or agency in charge of um, um, stamping or authorizing concerns. Yeah. Of, 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 yeah. Now, you get there to most, I think you call it BDPA in Edo State, if, I can, if I'm not wrong, mm -hmm. one that authorizes, that approves building plans. Mm -hmm. I, 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 in that place, they call it stamp planning. Forget about what name, whatever name they call it, the agency to approve building plans. If you get there, the structural, the man who's going to check the work of the architect should know, apparently, a bit more than the architect who designs. Mm. The engineer, the structural engineer, who's going to check the work of the um, structural engineer, mm. should know apparently a bit higher than the person that is doing the designing. Mm. What we have there, what we have in Nigeria, in most cases, are people that are not as competent as those who are even bringing the drawings in. Mm. So what we have is somebody, is you cannot give what you don't have. That's what they say in law. So if you have them there, by virtue of man knows man, is a is the beginning of failure. Uh, all right. Now, but before we go in depth into uh, the persons responsible to give the approval for building to be erected, you mentioned various aspects of construction. Some of the people that look, we are in Nigeria. Before you pay individual to do their job to erect a building, that'll be like you know a cutthroat project because of the amount required to get the service of these people. Hence, they choose to follow the pattern. Of this said builders, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, yeah that's uh, the, the, the cost. Is doing penny wise, pound foolish. The cost, the the we eventually have to pay, is the resources that you lose. In resources in terms of material and in terms of manpower, mm. and people probably will die, like we have in Lagos. Lagos, yeah. unfortunately, uh, maybe souls of the. The departed souls, rest in peace. Mm. And so, unfortunately, he's, he's even consumed the, the, the owner of the building and his mm. friends as well. Mm. So, if, if, if the engineer gives you a bill and you say, Look, my friend, I can give it to somebody else um, who has been doing it for the past 20 years, and you pay him peanuts. If you want to do business with um, if you want to do bad business, you pay monkeys and baboons to do business for you. Mm. The engineers and the architects and the registered professionals are not bab baboons and monkeys, mm. they need to be paid properly mm. to be able to do the job. Uh -huh. So that's exactly what happens. All right. Now, but in some other aspect, you have qualified personalities working on a particular building construction. The same thing happened. How can you really explain that? I'll tell you this, yeah. and you can take it to the bank. Hmm. No current registered engineer has been found wanting since the, time, since the beginning of the collapse of buildings in Nigeria. You sure about that? You quote me. Because the ones in Lagos, at least, they saw that these guys, they're registered. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. Yeah. The one that is registered in Lagos project and that has its integrity and that has his name to protect was one that resigned barely one year ago. Why did he resign from the project? 
His instructions are not being followed. His specifications are not being followed. That's a hallmark of a great man. That's a hallmark of a registered engineer. He left the job. He took a work out. He took a work. That's what happened. But still, you still get to hear of instances where people are like, okay, let's just manage this amount. Let's see how we can cut corners. Talking about qualified registered engineers saying, okay, fine. Rather than us losing out on this contract, let's see how we can really make it work. I can't With the minimal resources. And these are registered engineers. You see, you see, I'll tell you this one again. Mm -hmm. There's something called factor of safety in design. Yeah. In factor of safety, if your load, your, um, what, your, your soil, a foundation can stand maybe 100 units. Yeah. We call it kilonewton or whatever. 100 units, for instance. You not put a load of 100 units on it. You factor it. You factor could be two, could be one and a half. If you can stand 100, you say, okay, let's design that it can stand 50. I'm just giving uh, example. a example. Yeah. Let's put a building that can stand 50. The factor of safety there is two. Hmm. So even if you put a load of 60, 70, right? You know, you can still stand it. Yeah. That's what a structural in, in, in a very small, in a, in a very little way to explain it. Yeah. That's what the engineer does. So if it still stands, it means it can still, uh, it's sustainable. Yeah. But no engineer will stick his neck when he knows that the possibility of failure is there. Because, it really, because the, um, um, the measures are there, the punishments are there. Yeah. You, have the, you can lose your license, you can lose your name, you can lose your reputation. Yeah. And that's not what uh, an engineer or an architect would want to do. But I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to preempt the, um, a panel that's been set up in Lagos. In Lagos, yeah. But apart from the panel set up by the governor, by the governor, Governor Sanwolu, mm. even the Council of the Registered Engineers of Nigeria, that's called the Regulation of Engineering Profession, that's current, mm. right? They have already set up their own um, uh, independent um, uh, investigation. investigation. So whoever is involved, we obviously uh, carry the, the can. All right. Now, you were talking about to just start body uh, put in charge of tackling quacks in the profession. But it's like they're falling short of their duties. Because that's the reason why, according to report, we are seeing cases, we heard about cases of collapsed building. Are these bodies really working? For instance, now just as I say of engineering, we have a civil engineering branch also. Are they doing their job effectively? From you your see, own analysis. You see, the... Let me, let me just say for the purpose of clarity, Nigerian Society of Engineers yeah. as a body is just an association of engineers to develop and train engineers. That's NSC. The body that is statutorily set up by decree or by act of parliament is a current. That's the one that's regulating the, regulation, regulating the practice of engineering yeah. in Nigeria. Current can do all these ones. And don't, don't, don't forget. You use the word can. Does that mean that they are not doing it? Should. Should. And should, should also. How they can do it is this. Yeah. I've told you earlier that show me an engineer, a current registered engineer that has been indicted on collapse building in Nigeria to date. Hmm. None. To date. I don't know of Lagos. Lagos is being investigated. Okay. Right? So the thing is, we cut corner. And I, I, I forgot to tell you about the quality of materials. Right. If the quality of material is not right, it's, 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 going, to, it's, going, it's, going, to, it's going to it's going to it's going to affect the, um, the, the what you're going to what you're going to produce. Mm -hmm. SON, what are they doing? They are the one to charge to be in charge of the, um, uh, of, of, the of the quality of material that yeah. is being imported into the country. Still, that is being imported may not be the right um, um, the, the right quality, the right, the right strength. It's the beginning of failure. Cement that's not right quality is really for, is, is a problem. And it's, a, it's the beginning of the reason where we have failures. Again, we want to talk of cement that's supposed, one bag of cement is supposed to be 40 or 45 um, um, nine inches block. Right. You see people making 100 bags of, I mean, 100 blocks from one bag of cement. Okay. And the owner is happy. Okay, well, you, we, we talked about. Uh, uh, registered engineers that were like you know being suspended current suspended two engineers for misconduct is on the leadership newspaper we talked about synagogue building also collapse uh, some indicted engineers also uh, to face current because these are certified engineers that were like you know one way or the other connected to this building that collapsed. I'll just give two examples here online 
I remember the synagogue building that, that collapsed. We have engineers that took care of it. They have been indicted. They are there to defend themselves. And, and uh, I mean, these uh, engineers were known by current. Though they were suspended for misconduct. Right. So what do you have to say about that? I will, I will tell you a lot. Yes. I will tell you a lot. If you design a building, yeah. right, and you are not in charge of the supervision of the construction, yes. it doesn't mean that what you have designed is wrong. So that's why they do a lot of investigation. And that's probably why they can suspend the guy okay. until when they finish the uh, investigation. Okay. If you, you, you are not liable if you don't supervise. If I say use 16 mm, 16 mm rod, 16 mm can stand the strength that is going to be imposed. Yeah. But if you go there and use 12 mm, and I'm not part of this, people want to pay, they want to cut corner. They will not pay you to supervise. Oh, wow. If you don't supervise it, then you are, it, it, what you're going to investigate is the fact that you have not done the right, um, uh, the, the right specification. All right, all right, all right. It, it's okay because current, though they are doing a wonderful job, but Nigeria said they should do more job. And that, uh, that, that is what Nigeria no, exactly. is uh, uh, exactly. like saying. Exactly. Now, what do you think is the way forward to conclude this discussion out of this menace? You see, the, the, the impunity, you know, yeah. people are not being punished. It's not just in building. The, the whole system, the whole Nigerian system. I mean, how many, how many kidnappers, how many bandits, how many terrorists have been convicted? How many, I mean, you just hear that um, they are in the police, um, ne the police net, they're going to be prosecuted, and they prosecuted. I mean, I know of one, um, one um, um, kidnapper who was in Lagos. He's, he's, been, he's been in jail, or whatever they call it. He's been investigated, he's been, he's been, pros been prosecuted for about three, four years. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, what happens? So, people are not facing the music. People are not being punished properly. Right. Uh, apparently, that's it. So I you're mean, saying if there is adequate punishment and yes. <coughs> excuse me, sanctions, everything will fall into place. And timely too. All right. They would, that will serve as deterrent to others. All right. Uh, and the issue of corruption. We have somebody who wants, who has a story building design for him and raising it to 15, to 15 and from 15 yeah. to 20 and even where 21 and where even where he uh, work was supposed to be stopped and was stopped mm -hmm. and he, the person uses his influence. Uh, to, to, to remove the stop work order and continue. That's not an engineer's uh, problem. That's not an architect's problem. That's a society problem. But still, we have, them, but we have engineers, architects right there. They've seen everything happening. They folded their arms without doing anything about it. They would not, they, would, they, they, they didn't fold, if they had folded their, their yeah. arms, eh, yeah. the authority would not come and say stop work. All right. The engineer that is reputable, that has integrity, would not have taken the work. Okay. It Thank took you. the work. Thank you. Thank you so, so many things so to much. say. Yeah, so many things to say, but yeah. so little time. Uh, uh, thank you so, so much, Engineer Adeni. He was one time NSE chairman at Doe State Chapter. And of course, former SA to former governor of Ogo State, Ibikunle Amosu. And of course, he is a certified engineer. Appreciate your comment. Hope your advice will be taken. Accountability fight against quackery. And of course, follow the rules and regulations governing yes. building construction. Yeah. Overloading, Overloading. Of buildings. And of so course, forth, all these so artisans forth. should be taken out of the board. They have, their roles. they have their roles. They to have play, their roles. But they should not play the role all of right. engineers and architects. All right. Thank you. Should. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate your coming. Yeah. All right. Well, this is TMI Sunday's edition. If you just joined us, up next, a political talk, especially controversy raging when you talk about uh, direct primaries. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.